A new personal GPS system could help emergency personnel find their way around buildings more easily. This is Mitch Lamukta from Draper Labs, the company who developed this technology. It's Mitch's job to test it. And he took Tracy Stetter from the Discovery Channel around the course. So we're going to start a uh, scenario, just an example scenario. I'm going to start on the ground level, but with buildings all around me, it's going to be difficult to acquire GPS initially. Because the signals are going to bounce around yeah. here? Yeah, they'll bounce around. So after we are able to initialize on the ground, we're going to walk through like, narrow hallways between buildings. Okay. And then out in the open sometimes, underneath the little tunnels, give some good examples of you know, what a possible end user, be a firefighter or an army soldier, would, could encounter. Oh, you walk around three, three to six times a day. Yep. You're collecting all this Collect all this data on this computer. On this little yep. computer. And then what do you do with it? Is we go inside, we process it using you know, some software. Well, one of the, the basic challenges that both firefighters and even policemen uh, rescue people, as well as the soldiers uh, face out in the world is if you can't identify when they've been hurt and come back to, uh, to actually recover them quickly, they can die. This box, if it's not using the satellites, then how is it figuring out where the person is? Great question. Well, the, to start off with, it does in fact have a GPS unit inside of it, okay. and a military GPS unit at this point in time. The reality is that we also have in here a system of gyros and accelerometers okay. that were first developed by Draper for guided munitions. The three components are the gyros, which tell you orientation, accelerometers, which give movement, and the low-powered Doppler radar, which gives information on speed. That actually is accurate enough so that it can give you direction, position, and, and help you with understanding where you are. Precisely down to about six meters accuracy. Eventually, they hope to narrow the gap down to three meters. And here you can see when he went down the stairs. And here we're at ground level. And we come into the building, and we go up the stairs to the second floor, walk around the second floor, go up the stairs to the fifth floor, walk around the fifth floor. So this is the vertical information. So like if you had a fireman out there mm -hmm. in a warehouse or a building, you'd have some idea of where he was relative to the height of the, the ground level. And ultimately, this is, this is um, collecting data so you guys can make it accurate. A soldier or a first responder wouldn't be carrying around. No, I mean, he, they, they wouldn't care what this, the individual components of, da of data see. For Discovery Channel, I'm Casey D. Gardner.